Either mythos, it's actually fancy seeing you here on this plane. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm headed to my haunted hotel. You know, I've never flown MHA Airlines before. MHA is actually a new airline, and I'm actually going to box Danny Moss over at my haunted hotel. That's where I'm going. This is definitely the cheapest airline that I could find. Well, at least we can enjoy the flight and nothing can go wrong. Welcome to MHA Airlines, where it is said that this plane crashed in the 1960s and that the passengers still walk these very aisles looking for the captain. What is he doing here, and why is he sitting in this man's lap? So confusing. Somebody please get this man out of my lap. Oh, flight attendant. Yes, sir. Welcome to MHA Airlines. I have so many questions. Should I get the captain? Yes, please get the captain. <laughs> oh, no. I gotta get off this plane. My haunted airline. That explains so much. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, it's The Shape, and let's jump into the drama pool. You know this video is going to be fun when we start it off like that. I hope that animation looks good anyway. That being said, I wanted to address a few things, because drama is drama. And you guys know how much I like drama. I don't address it very often, but when I do, I do a, you know, a full video on it. And Mythos made a video, and I was like, huh, you know... This has some good talking points. You know what? I think I'll do it. Now, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, I'm The Shape. And I've been doing this for <laughs> quite a while. Over five years now. Now, back when I first started, debunking was a bit touchy of a subject. You know, it wasn't taken like it is now. Now, it's expanded. Like... It's got its rightful place on YouTube just as much as a, a paranormal investigator or anything, anybody else. It's, you know, and I'm pretty proud of that. And there's new channels, debunking channels popping up every day, and it's amazing. Uh, a big reason for how big it's getting is, you know, it take like the side eye guy, Mytho, Spirito, Crow Judas, they help expand it into other sections as well. And man, let's get into this video. It's about to get real. But I do want to say one thing Todd, Tatro, I love you. And I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you. You guys are the unsung heroes. And there would be none of us without you guys. You guys are the best community on YouTube. Period. It's not even close. Let's get into this uh, huh, drama. Daniel Skiri passed away. Show some love in the comments, guys. I appreciate it. Like I said, Mythos made a really, really good video, and it brings up some very interesting points. And it's about a channel that I've had in debunking videos in the past. Of course, you guys know who it is. My Haunted Hotel, Manor. Even though the last video I did on their My Haunted American counterparts even though they did come and comment, and they were slightly respectful in the comments, uh, the debunk still stands good and strong because to this day, I don't think they uploaded the proper clip with that sound. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. Comment below if I'm wrong, though. Now, Danny Moss. Ooh. 
Just bring him over here right now. Just, just. I am not here to offend anybody. I'm not here to call people out. And I am big against internet trolling and internet bullying. But who the f is this crab? I've literally just filmed for Sky whilst you're droning on with your sh little YouTube channel that has less than 400 subscribers. Oh, and before anyone says ignore it, I'd rather call it out because it highlights the extent people will go to for views. Keep going. I work for the biggest company in the entire UK paranormal industry. I get invited to the biggest conventions. I get paid a fortune to go on television whilst you're sat at home trying to make something of your misery of a life. That's not ego. That's a fact. That's not ego, eh? Look how she's gone down the debunking Rand style, trying to copy some of the bigger debunker channels to try and get views. Pathetic little rodent. It's about truth. So if you want to start a debunking channel, don't listen to what other people will say. Because you can do it if you put your heart into it. Uh, there's tons of small channels that make amazing videos out there. And what I find really cool about this particular community is the support. You guys, and I mean you, the one listening to me right now, you go to their channels and you support them as well, even though they're tiny. And what blows my mind, though, is when I go there, like, you know, they'll be posting to Bunkers Anonymous. I'll go there and I'll be like, oh, I'll check them out. I'll be the first one to check these people out. See what this little debunker channel's got to offer. Now, I click on it, go into the comment section, and a lot of times, guess who's already there? I've seen Side Eyed Guy, Beardo, Mythos, World of Mr. Gray, Crow Judas, just tons of them there showing, showing their support to smaller channels because that's what debunkers are about. You know, supporting each other. We don't always agree with everything everybody else says. But we support our own. And For someone who says... With, with personal attacks from the, from the debunker community, and it is, they can defend it all they like and say they're not toxic, that their community is the most toxic thing I've ever come across. That's pretty hypocritical, isn't it? It's disgusting, and unfortunately, there's more. All of these comments here are in response to a video from a lady called Sarah from Fantastic Publishing who never said anything anything like this towards him. I don't tend to get involved in other people's drama, but when I see people being horrible to someone like this, bullying them and intimidating them, I just can't help myself. So today we are looking at the toxicity and hypocrisy of that certain individual you've seen there called Danny Moss, who you may or may not know from the My Haunted Project channel. And I'm also including them in this because they're openly backing his actions, which is disgusting. I find it almost ironic that they said the debunk community is so toxic. But when you look at the whole grand scheme of all of it, it's exactly the opposite. If, if, you're, a, if you're a TV show on YouTube, you, you are degrading yourself. What Danny Boy here is trying to say is that he couldn't cut it on YouTube. He wasn't getting the proper amount of views for the apparent amazing content that he made. <laughs> and YouTube just simply ain't good enough. And maybe, just maybe, it's, maybe people aren't subbing Danny and they're not supporting you, not because your content ain't good, which it, it's pretty good. It's a clever concept, but your attitude. We live in an era now where talent doesn't doesn't matter. We live in an era with TikTok where people shut off after three seconds of watching a video and they want that on YouTube. Like they're just watching it on the phone, scrolling through. Oh, that, yeah, I'll watch five minutes of that. No, I'll, I'll turn it off. Like um, where, what's happened? What's yeah. happened to humanity? 100% agree. I call that TikTok brain. The I agree in a way, but on YouTube, it seems the longer the videos are nowadays, you know, three hour long paranormal investigations, uh, they do better than the shorter videos. Yeah, TikTok is 
I gotta hear loud noises. I gotta have a jump cut every two and a half seconds and somebody's screaming into the camera to keep your attention. But, I mean, that's TikTok, I mean. But there's some decent stuff on TikTok that's longer formatted as well. Not real long, but really amazing TikTok videos. I first seen Danny a few years ago where I actually watched him and his team on Amazon Prime where he had a TV show called The Haunted Hunts. I didn't watch loads because what I seen, I thought, this guy's fake as f I can now predict what's going to happen in his videos because of these traits. And I literally did it with his new stuff that he's been uploading recently. I said to myself, what would happen before I clicked and he ticked all the boxes? They will be having to leave the room over nothing. Detected a sudden five degree drop in temperature and we immediately had a static rise. I need to leave this room right now, Alice, please. Apologies right now for the uh, the hysteria, but we are absolutely in panic mode. We have just heard somebody in this house. You want you you could do so you you do you can you you want. I just can't watch because of all the drama that I think is a genuine act. Definitely, it's a it's a genuine act of an actor who can't act. I told you so, now I told you so. Which he confirmed for me here when he said this on the Paranormal Monkey podcast. Actually, you've been in the TV industry for over 20 years. I was, I was an actor. And Let's have a watch of the new stuff. Then I found him screaming at an apparent talking doll and I was like, yep, he's back at it, but now on YouTube. Is this it, Jeanette? Is this it? <laughs> Speak to me! I wonder people were making debunking videos of the place. If you're shouting and screaming at a doll, pretending it's possessed and pretending it's actually talking to you, you're fake as f and <laughs> mythos. <laughs> I mean, for real. I mean, <laughs> can you imagine my surprise when I first went to watch a My Haunted Hotel video thinking, well, I better check to see if they're fake or real. That was the first clip that I clicked on. Him screaming, you know, at a, a doll. So, imagine my shock. This is not talking to you. Do it! Please! <laughs> Let's see that in an instant replay. So because while being terrified of a doll, Danny has had to squeeze in how hard he is into a paranormal investigation. It's about being in the best physical and uh, mental condition as possible. And I'm only bringing this up because of a recent comment saying that no debunker would dare say anything to his face because he used to box. is absolutely uh, the cleanest of anyone I know. Uh, I exercise four times a week. Just what I want to know when I'm watching a paranormal investigation. <laughs> you know guys, I like to do yoga and I love to do Pilates. Oh, what's that? Oh, stick to, to the bunking and shut my mouth? All right. Maybe we should get the doll to Danny's boxing gym and see who comes out on top. As a lover of the fight game myself, you learn these skills and they tend to make you more humble. You have more respect for people because from being in the gym, you know that anyone could be a beast and you know what people are capable of and you quickly find out that you're not the hardest man on the planet. So to use it to threaten and intimidate someone is absolutely shameful. You learn to protect yourself and step in to protect others. I've seen people in gyms learning these skills to be a bully. To be, Don't call me fake or argue with me because I'll box your head in. My that brings me to here. You beat somebody up for critiquing you. That doesn't take away the criticism. Yeah, you may have beat that person up, but you're still exactly what they said you are. In fact, you're kind of looking a bit worse. My point proven by his comment here. He says, the thing with the paranormal is that the large majority of people have severe mental health issues or some other form of issue. These people just simply won't behave like this in person and that's where I have major issues. Don't be a c 
behind a keyboard unless you're prepared to behave the exact same way in person. For years, I've had people be a to me but the reason people have an issue is because I hit back and they don't like it. 13 years not one single person has ever said it to my face and this absolutely sums it up. They won't. One debunker told me another debunker won't come to the hotel because he's scared of me. Because I box and there's the problem right there. Happy to slate me from behind a keyboard in another country but won't come and say it to me in person. Absolute shit house. Even Danny's own fans say a healthy debate Yes, but not violence. Not to gloss over something like an entire comment of Danny Moss, but a debunker said that another debunker is too scared to go over there because Danny can box. I have a feeling, a gut feeling that they're talking about me. Whichever debunker said that to Danny, I don't know. But I can tell you this, it ain't true. He's claiming people who say those things about him are mentally ill. They are, as you say, behind keyboards because they won't act like that in person. Okay, example, the shape who you've had a problem with. He flies over from America to the UK, says, you're fake. What's the point? What's going to come of that? A debunker apparently said they won't go to the hotel because you box. I highly doubt that. First of all, debunkers doing what they do know they're going to get shit from people, but they do it anyway because they're not the type of people scared of confrontation. Well said, Mythos. Well said. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I'm this, you know, badass that can beat everybody up and, oh, I'm a bad man, I tell you. I can hold my own and actually, you know, I didn't even know Danny ever trained boxing, nor do I care. Now, I've lived a life through street fights. I've lived a life of grappling, wrestling, and... I can hold my own pretty good, uh, but I'm not going to fly over to their hotel to fight anybody. I'm not paying that much money to do that. Two, they won't go there because all those hotel guys won't let them look for things like false walls and the thought of you lot staring at them through your cameras is just freaking creepy. Harry, Brett and myself monitoring both the Ouija brothers and ghosts on Trent from the My Haunted Hotel control room. And this would give us eyes on all 24 cameras. I'd want to check the whole place out without being watched and radioed in on your freaking walkie talkies. Hey uh, guys, bear with me, you're trying to debunk something. No. And don't bring up bigger doors trip either. Everyone knew the guys removed what was in that talking doll before he got there. In the Side Eye Guys video where he spoke about Danny's comments, he said he's had people reach out to him and say they are genuinely scared of Danny. And that for... For that reason alone is why I would never agree to go over to my haunted hotel. It ain't about Danny, you know, oh, I know how to box. I've got to box your head off right here. It has nothing to do with that. They know you're coming. They can hide everything that's not hidden in false walls. They can hide it right before you get there and you'll be like, oh, look at there, nothing. If I go there, I don't want nobody there, and I want to be allowed to use a sledgehammer. That is just not a good feeling to put across to someone. I have literally spoken to people who say they are scared of Danny. In particular, they, they've they actually said that they are scared of him. Like, I've had people send me stuff like screenshots and all the rest of it and said they do not want their names including that because they are worried about what Danny will say to them. And how could anyone blame them when you see the shit he's saying right now about Sarah? Danny posted he found Fantastique's personal profile. Was this some kind of threat and intimidation tactic as well? What do you mean by this, Danny? What are you going to do? I need a favor from you guys. As if you don't do enough for me. I love you. Go to Fantastic Paranormal. I'll have her link down here, Sarah. Go give her some love and some encouragement. I'll also link the other debunkers I mentioned in this video. 
Uh, there were other things that bothered me like them actually ruining the place. Like I said, it used to be a well-known and respected location, but they've dressed it up like a haunted house, which you just see at the local fair. There's a lot of comments about the decor of the building, um, that it's become an attraction. Which leads me onto the Side Eye Guys channel, who showed that one of the guys, Brett, actually did work for something like that and made haunted attractions and stuff. My background is in attraction design. And that's actually come back to bite me on the arse a few times. I remember that guy. Go ahead, insert it here, Shapey Poo. Danny, Shapey hurt me, honey. I feel better already. The questions about this place started to be asked. Have they done the same here? Have they had speakers hooked up? Hidden things to make docks and bangs? False walls for people to move around? They got Beardo to go there, check all of this out, and obviously he found nothing. They're not going to leave all that stuff in there for him to find, are they? I've always thought the place was actually haunted, but now all of this has made me think, hmm, if there is anything going on there, I just won't trust the evidence. I ended up watching other debunk videos from people like the shape then i seen the hotels firing back the shape got something wrong and apologized which it seems they took as a big win certain person tried to debunk us and we found it quite comical there are some things brought up in said video that are quite frankly embarrassing arrogance and ignorance go hand in hand baby this is proof of it but what i what i wanted to say yes i was wrong in that video and 10 minutes after the upload, I uploaded that video, I put in the comment, the pinned comment, that I was wrong. They even tried to have the video taken down, even though the one debunk was wrong, no doubt about it. But I had more stuff in that video. That one debunk was only a tiny part of it. So why would I want to take the whole video down because of that? But a few months ago, I took the video down. I'm putting it back up, but I, I, took, I took it down because when I did the video on my haunted American counterpart, the last video I did, I completely debunked them so bad I felt sorry for them. And no, I'm not, I'm not being arrogant, I'm telling you the truth. But, I'm having second thoughts. It's actually quite laughable whether these trolls want to admit that they're jealous or not, which they obviously won't do, it is jealousy. The shape's gonna make a video of us and really embarrass himself and clutch at straws. This person is also allowed to come here to, to actually do some real debunking for a change. <laughs> If you paid for the ticket, the plane ticket, and my room and board and everything, just simply because of how disrespectful you guys have been. You've claimed it's been me, yet everything I've done is been in videos for everybody to see. We are going to separate ourselves from the toxicity of the debunker community. What he's saying is they want to be on television. That way they can take away the comment section. You know, so nobody can tell them how fake their videos are. Oh! Even though you still can, but, you know, they'll never hear it. Pathetic little rodent. I think here, from this point, you could see some very clear hate from Danny towards anyone who would question the place. He'd always claimed the debunking community was toxic and said hateful things, but all I'd ever seen was just them questioning what the hotel was doing. Never any toxic comments or personal insults towards anyone. I'd happily take a look at the screenshots though. Apparently they've got them. I've seen debunkers always say, please don't go and hate on people, so I'd like to see who the these people are and see if I recognize any other names. I'll be honest though, I highly doubt these screenshots even exist. They may be one or two screenshots of somebody saying something toxic, probably profiles they made themselves, but no, I, in every video, every debunker that I know, make sure to say this is our opinion, don't, go, don't give hate to anybody that we feature in a video, but you can't stop grown-ups from going there and saying whatever they want to say.
So Fantastic said she made this video to defend the debunking community and the real paranormal community and she says This is about attacks on the debunking community and frankly Mr Moss every time you start saying things like that you are behaving in the exact same way you're accusing us of so just remember that before um, you start kicking off at anybody Which is 100% true Danny comments about My Haunted Project being It is far too advanced to be on YouTube which is an absolute joke, to be honest. Sarah takes the piss a bit, but she is right. I mean, come on. It's far too advanced to be on YouTube. It's far too advanced to be on YouTube. High production value television we got here. Far too advanced, huh? I've seen channels that make my haunted hotel looked like amateur hour. I'm Sam. And I'm Lisa. And we're from Lost Souls UK. It's our first time at My Haunted Hotel. We'd never really heard of it before, but the guys have asked us to come in on an investigation and see what we can find. Okay, so Danny takes the ladies around the hotel and tells them some fake history of deaths there and ghosts. Obviously implanting those names in the ladies' minds, which he absolutely loves. Uh, interesting walk around, threw a few spanners in there. <laughs> Who the hell's James Clement? <laughs> no, <laughs> James, isn't it? This is, this is planting the seeds and we're gonna see if any of these names come through us quite adamant on pronouncing the names correctly mm -hmm. really forcing it on them if they do come up then we know that they are physically pushing the planchette or the, the glass around the board it's if this happens they're fake straight on the attack mode and loving it brett actually had to stop him there and explain what's another possibility there's two theories to it is that either they are forcibly doing it and they are knowingly doing it or it could be a version of the idiomotor effect where they are moving it they literally just don't know they're doing it which he is 100 percent right on this is exactly how ouija boards work another interesting point up there as well is sam is very much um a feelings type of person she said in room six that she felt a breeze across her hand i then noticed the windows were open. <laughs> um, but, you know, this will be interesting to see if they get any feelings and, and really start to spin this and really start to spin this. They also mentioned the human pendulum earlier on when we were speaking to them. It's really old school methods and methods that absolutely grind my gears, shall we say. By Danny's reaction, it sounds like it was his idea and he can't wait to show off someone faking, which he basically proves here. Brett and I really differ in opinions here. So Brett believes a lot of this is unintentional. I believe it's all intentional. I believe they push it on purpose. I believe they know what they're doing and, and, and they, they move it to what they want intentionally. Our faith in humanity is... Mine is very little. Brett even explains for a second time to Danny and right after explaining it to Danny, nodding his head, he then says this. For anyone who thinks there is even a hint of a chance that what is happening happening here is paranormal and the Ouija board is actually working then watch very closely as we are about to completely debunk what is happening here in record time. Completely disregarding what Brett has just told him. He wants these ladies to be fakers. He complains about the debunkers non-stop but look at him when he the word hypocrite comes to mind. He doesn't like debunkers at all but look how giddy and happy he is when he's tricking these people. He, he, he's beside himself with happiness. Like, oh, I, I outsmarted you this time. So they start the experiment and the ladies come out with the fake names, of course. John Abbott. Which isn't their fault or them faking. If you've watched any Darren Brown, you'll understand how easy it is to manipulate someone's mind, which Danny did, taking them around this place and feeding them false information. So this is what Sarah from Fantastic was saying in her video. The guys have done the girls dirty here by using them as lab rats for this experiment. But what if we tell them that all of this... No, no. No, no, no. I'll do it. I've only come into the experiment late tonight, so I have got no attachments. <laughs> Unlike Catherine. <laughs> Oh my Catherine, yeah. Hey. Danny is adamant they're faking it 
and says I want to see the reaction to realising that what they were getting them was a load of bollocks what they were causing was a load of bollocks so Brett goes on to telling the ladies that they were fooled so one of our experiments we created the name John Abbott and by the ladies reactions Fantastic was absolutely right when she said The video itself was disgusting in my opinion It was completely tricking Two women who had gone into the hotel to do an investigation They were fed false information and they were tricked That's not the way you do things And they are patting themselves on the back An ethical experiment would have been to at least let those ladies know There was some form of experiment going on You don't have to tell them what it is until the end when you have to tell them it was disgusting if you think that's showing the paranormal community how they do their investigations you are encouraging very bad practice the problem I see with this is the hotel guys have made absolute fools of these ladies you know it's one thing to debunk somebody making a video showing your points and why you think it's staged but to invite somebody to your hotel just to make complete clowns out of them in front of all your supporters, that is, and they're nice enough to come because you asked. That that blows my mind. I I, I don't understand how you could be giddy and happy to make them look like that. You know, they're people, just like you, Danny. At the end of the day, can you imagine Danny in a mullet? In fact, oh, now that's what I'm talking about. Danny complains about debunkers, but he is potentially hurting these ladies' business by doing this to them. But guess what? We will probably get backlash from this and don't really care. Actually, Danny, you showed you really do care. A lot. So let's take a look at the aftermath of Fantastique's video. Danny's initial post, which I showed at the start, was actually hilarious with the amount of hypocrisy in it. But what shocked me is he's posting personal insults about Sarah like that, even though he says, Trolled to pieces with, with personal attacks from the, from the debunker community, and it is, they can defend it all they like and say they're not toxic, that their community is the most toxic thing I've ever come across. Danny shared the video and said to go and have a laugh, potentially inciting hate towards Sarah. Because of the way Danny goes on, his followers are just going to go and do the same, as shown under the link that he posted to her channel. As I covered before, Danny posted her personal profile, inciting more hate towards her. And it looks like he thought he was so clever for finding it. So Danny does exactly what he complains about. Bullying people. Going to the comment section, being toxic, yet says everybody else does that. And that's why he wants to, you know, go to television because the toxicity, and he's the very one, Not he's feeding into it. He He's he should, you know, set an example. But instead, he'll, he'll go right to their comments and say, Oh, I found you. I found you. Laughy face, laughy emoji. You're a keyboard warrior, too. You, you claim everybody else is, but you you ain't man enough to do anything either. You're, you're behind your little keyboard, a little a little laughy emoji. Ha, huh? ha, huh? I need a break. It, even though she uses her full name on her profiles. When the lady below says how toxic Sarah is, clearly without watching the video, she totally ignores Danny's toxicity. And what does Danny reply with? He just calls Sarah a pathetic little rodent. This is actually pathetic, not Sarah. Sometimes it's really hard to follow YouTube's terms of service and not just say what you really want to say at this moment in time. I tell you, it's... Uh, I'm toxic, he said. Pretty sure he said that. Yeah, yeah, he said that. Danny, Mr. Big Bollocks, when a lady has something to say. When the side eye guy went live and called Danny out, he didn't have anything to say. You're a bully, Danny. He still hasn't had anything to say. I want to know from you, Danny, where was your energy here for me or the shape? That's a really good point, side eye guy. A very, very, very good point. Now, I learned long time ago that when your channel's small like mine was back in the beginning it's still small but i mean i was real small then that these bigger channels would send their 
people over to absolutely demolish you. Why do you think Duck of Truth completely quit when he done a video on Moke Sargy? They burned up his comment section. They'll do that to a smaller channel. But when you got a following of loyal supporters like the bigger channels got, they, they, they seem to question it. They have second thoughts like, huh, maybe I shouldn't because I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But these debunkers been handing them L's for a while now. You're okay doing of... that to a woman? I haven't read where you've kind of like called me a pathetic little rodent. You haven't got in my comments of my videos and having a go at me. As far as I can see, you've kept your mouth shut. But I would like to know why you have that energy for Sarah and not for me or the shape. Done. Hey, 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 hey. Why are you running? You guys would really be doing me a solid if you go to Fantastic Paranormal Sarah's channel and subscribing, giving her just a thoughtful comment. And while you're at it, you may as well hit up Mythos and the side-eyed guy as well. Danny and anyone involved should be embarrassed. He says here, it's nice to expose these people, but all he's done is just expose himself. Even when one of Danny's own fans can see what he's doing isn't right and she calls out his bullying, what does he say? He more or less tells her just to f off. That right there is a good insight on how that particular YouTuber creator sees their supporters. If you're not rolling with them, agreeing with everything they say, you're you're nothing to them. You're a you're a number in an analytic, and they want to go to TV and get those ratings, but they don't want to hear from you. You know, no matter how respectful you are, they don't want to hear that. What happened when the hotel guys got ghosts on Trent and the Ouija brothers to go to the hotel? They were spinning the narrative. They used those guys' channels and good reputations to put out a narrative that they're not fake. Look, these two teams of guys said we're real. If you go and watch their investigations, they're trying to investigate, but can't because the hotel guys constantly interrupt them trying to debunk stuff. All they do is talk about debunking to the point where it's just annoying. They were trying to not look fake so hard. This is also the case when the debunkers got to the hotel. They love to use those clips to fit their narrative. That's what I love about the debunker community. Everybody's here for one another. They support one another. May not agree with everything. I may not agree with something this guy or that guy says or this lady or that lady says. But we respect each other and see the value of one another and we treat each other with respect and that's very important that's why this community is so great it's because of you guys you the ones in the comments the ones watching this video right now that you're the ones that make shapes and side-eyed guys and beardos and mythoses coagitases and who you know paranormal seekers mr grays whoever it's you guys and you guys are the unsung heroes but man I've, I've done this a while now, and I've had death threats multiple times through comments, emails. <clears throat> I've had, I've been called every name you can be called. I've been accused of everything you can be accused of, but I'm still here. Because at the end of the day, I know the person I'm debunking is a human being. I know that, and sometimes I, I can say things that maybe I wish I hadn't said. You know, I'll say something like, I was, like proven demons. Uh, Andrew, I've made animations of him that made him look all fugly and weird looking and stuff, and that was wrong with me. So, you know, if I made him feel a certain way, now that I think about it, I'm, I do apologize, I'm sorry. Shouldn't, I shouldn't do that. But, most times, I. 99% of the time I try to keep it respectful, but sometimes I'll say something stupid. But I'll also own up to it. I don't think I'm no better than anybody else. But the beauty of this community is how they look out for one another, each other, and me, and all the other debunkers. But it's you guys, though. The unsung heroes, you are the ones that really make it what it is. And without you guys, we can't do it. So, 
you know, and I can never thank you enough. I appreciate you guys. But I wanted to get this out because I wanted to just, I don't know, vent a little bit. I don't do it very often. But I love you guys, and I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Y'all come back now, you hear? Bangers coming. See ya.